world No, I'm not gonna fight I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be naughty Welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds you all very well. Today we are going to be creating a super sexy glam Valentine's Day look. I was thinking about creating a super colorful pink and red Valentine's Day look for this year, but realistically, I know a lot of you are not going to be wearing those types of looks. I did want to create a look that was going to be something you are able to wear on your date with your significant other. If you guys are interested in watching this super glam Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, then just please keep on watching. Before we get started, please don't mind my lips right now. Okay, they're looking a little crusty. They're still a little bit bruised here and there from my lip stash that I had almost two weeks ago. Enough of that, I'm gonna get started. This is the Too Faced Plump and Prime Luxury Face Plumping Primer Serum. It looks like this. And of course, I haven't used it. Such cute, pretty packaging. So we'll see how this works. It looks like this cream. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation and then the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC30. I know I have been using these pretty often lately and trust me, I am going to be buying new foundations soon just because there's so many new foundations out in the market right now that I wanna purchase and try and review for myself and just so that I can branch out and try out new foundations that I'm probably missing out on. So just be patient with me. I look crazy right now, my goodness. Okay, I am gonna be using a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. We're not gonna be using cream contour today. I know, wow, such a shocker, but I just don't really feel like doing cream contour today. We're just gonna be doing powder. I'm just gonna be adding this right on that inner corner of the under eye and a little bit on the outer corner on the lower lash line. A lot has been going on since the last time I sat down and did my makeup with you guys. As you guys know, I'm having surgery due to this health issue that I'm dealing with. It's on February 25th, so it's almost here. I am super nervous about it, but I know it has to be done and I know it's going to be literally the most life-changing moment for me, I hope. And we also got new puppies. We have two babies. It's so crazy that I have two puppies right now. It's insane. If you guys know me in person, you guys know that I was just never a pet person okay brian kind of brian's dogs kind of ruined it for me but ever since one of his dogs had babies like i just became super attached to two of them so i ended up keeping them and now they're here they also are still puppies so they're still very like attached to me right now all they want to do is kind of like just see where i'm at and what i'm doing and they just follow me everywhere and the only thing is i can't have them inside my beauty room because it is my beauty room i have a lot of expensive things in here and not to mention we have carpet in both of the rooms that we have so we can't really have them in here yet especially because we don't have them potty trained yet they're small dogs in general they are a mixture of Maltese and Shih Tzu so they're gonna be small dogs but I just want them to stay puppies. Moving on to powder, I'm gonna be using the Sacha Buttercup in Light. I've been seeing so many makeup artists use this powder and I wanted to try it out for myself. You guys know I'm hooked on the Laura Mercier. Um, I'm hooked on a couple. RCMA is one of my top 
Laurel Mercier. Jeffree Star is definitely one of my tops as well. And now this one I have been using for a couple of weeks now and I have been really, really loving this as well. I think it's only like $24, $24 or something like that. So this one is really, really good. I like this. I do add a little bit of this underneath the eye area, just a tiny bit, and then I go in with my eye brightener. But I do like this all over the face. For under eye brightening, I'm gonna be using my good old Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D. This, I love you guys. Not necessarily because of the contour shades, but like I said, for the brightening powders in here, these are so good. Like, I, I don't know what made me stop using it. I think it was that banana powder that I was using from Too Faced that I just like completely just stopped using this. But then I went back to this palette and used the eye brighteners again and I just completely fell in love with them again. I don't know what it is about them. They're just so good. But I'm gonna be mixing both of the two lightest powders from the Kat Von D and adding it to my beauty blender. And I'm just gonna pop this on that under eye. Going to look a little bit cakey at first maybe but uh that's why i do like to go in with my setting powder hydrating mist whatever it is and just drench myself in it that way all the powders can melt into my skin so brian and i really don't celebrate valentine's day i we really don't consider it a holiday i don't know why i just don't Maybe when we first started dating, yes, we did consider it a holiday like the first two years. But then after that, we were kind of like, what the hell? I don't know. I always thought it was such a weird holiday. Like, shouldn't love be like celebrated every single day and not just like one day? But I get it. Like, you know, you want to show appreciation. I know most of us are busy everywhere. We don't get to do that very often. So it's good to have like at least one day to get away. Really like enjoy each other's company spend quality time together like i get it i get it okay so we're just gonna let that bake throughout this entire video i really want this to be super bright by the end of the video so i'm just gonna keep it on we're gonna move on to contour now and i am gonna be using the same palette and take this contour shade right in the middle I'm gonna be taking the darkest highlight shade right up top with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna carve out that contour and clean it up a little bit. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with this Maven Beauty highlighter in the shade Draped Up. Now you guys, if you haven't tried these highlighters yet, you definitely need to. They are so freaking good. I love this highlight so much it just looks so beautiful on the skin it just looks so glowy and wet i love it do you guys see that highlight yes i do like to go back in with the brush that we use to bronze and contour and i just like to go over it a little bit just to blend in that highlight all right i went ahead and did my brows nose contour off camera to speed this video up a little bit quicker but moving on to the eyes i'm gonna go in with this maven beauty define eyeshadow palette when i first saw these palettes you guys saw my unboxing i had my doubts okay but these are actually really really good quality eyeshadows y'all like surprisingly good like so 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 good they're super pigmented as well but this is going to be the perfect palette for today's makeup look i am first going to go in with this dark brown shade right up top and i am going to pop this on the entire crease like i said this is going to be a super smoked out look so i want it all over the eyelid this is the ColourPop e22 blending brush you want to start packing this on first all over the crease and I'm going to start dragging this slowly but surely outward creating a soft foxy look 
It really helps looking from afar into a mirror just so you know exactly what you're doing and how it's also going to look from a far distance instead of up close. Next, I'm gonna go in with the black eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm just gonna pop this on right on top. I'm gonna pop this on right on that outer corner first and then drag it into the crease just to build up that shadow a little bit more. And I'm also going to drag this outward. Now you do wanna be careful with the black because it can go wrong really fast. So definitely take your time on this one. Going back in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I'm going to start creating a crease right on the center, creating a halo effect. Going in with the Maven Beauty Palette in Spotlight, I'm going to be taking these two shimmer shades. I'm going to add them right on the lid. This is going to work as a base before we add the glitter right on top. Now I am going to be taking the Too Faced Glitter Glue and this Touch and Soul Metallic Eyeshadow in Cream Peach. And this is going to be our glitter slash metallic look for this halo look that we're creating. Going back in with the Define palette from Maven Beauty, I'm going to be taking the black and brown eyeshadow again and diffuse the edges on the halo just so everything can look seamless. Taking the black and brown shadow again, I'm going to be adding this to the lower lash line and I'm also going to be taking this Too Faced Killer Liner in black and adding it to my top and lower lash line. For liner, I'm going to be taking the Maven Beauty Liquid Liner and I'm going to create the cat eye look on the inner corner. And of course, for liner, I'm just going to be creating a winked out look. For lashes, I'm gonna go in with these fine ass lashes in the style Bougie. Now, you guys know I love my nudes, but of course, I had to give you guys either a red or a pink lip for Valentine's Day. And of course, I was not gonna do pink because come on, red is just a staple. It is sexy, it is wearable, and we're gonna be doing red today. So for liner, I'm gonna be using this Ace Beauty lip liner in the shade So Gorgeous. And I'm gonna go in with this lipstick from Maven Beauty as well in the shade Maven Red. gosh you guys this look right now is everything i mean i could go anywhere at this point are you taking me to a wedding a gala my cousin's quinceanera five star restaurant i mean it's everything like yes 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 i love it i'm obsessed <laughs> and i hope you guys are too <laughs> i really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look i loved creating it for you guys i definitely think this would look amazing on everyone on valentine's day if you guys are interested in any of the products mentioned throughout this entire video i will be listing everything down below in the description as well as my social media that way you guys know what i do when i'm not on youtube i love you guys thank you thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys have an amazing valentine's day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys.